Hey guys, Cameron here from HowToBeExtraordinary.com and today we're on tutorial 3 of the How To Use Evernote tutorial series. Um, and today we're going to be talking about notebooks and how to use notebooks. Uh, basically, the notebooks are what uh, is the first line in defense of, uh, of organizing your your notes in, in, note, in, uh, in Evernote. Uh, the way I have my notebook set up is I have basically two uh, uh, notebooks set up. One is called organized, one is called unorganized, and those are my two main notebooks. And uh, I'll get into how I, you know, how I use those in a, in a future tutorial. But for right now, we're just going to talk about the basics. Um, uh, so let's see. The way to create a new notebook is to go up to uh, File, go to New Notebook, and um, you have a chance to name your notebook whatever you want. Uh, you can make this your default notebook. Um, so what that does, if you are, um, if you create a new note, it'll automatically be put into that notebook uh, every time. You do have the chance to change it, but it'll be, it'll be put there first off. So you can just select that there. Um, and then the other option you have is to say if you want it to be a local notebook or a synchronized notebook. So if you say local, that's going to make it so you can only access the notebook on uh, whichever device you're making it on. So if I make it on this computer, I can only access it from this computer. I can't access it from, uh, from my work computer or something like that. Um, so in order to access this notebook from any device, you want to hit synchronize notebook. And it's better just to, to use this for all your options uh, when creating new, new notebooks. It doesn't really make sense not to use this option. So if we hit create there, you see over here we have the new notebook and there are no notes in it because we haven't made any new notes in it. So if I create a new note in here, it's going to show up right there. And in the note, you can see right here that uh, it has that notebook selected. Now, to change uh, uh, which which note you want in which notebook, you can either click this button here in the note itself and say which notebook you want it to go in, or you can always do the drag and drop. So you just hold down, drag it over, and plop it in, and then it's in there, and you see the new note is in the organized notebook. And I'm just going to delete that real quick. Um, another feature that uh, is pretty cool in Evernote is you can share notebooks. So as you can see, I have these four notebooks going on right here. Um, and the non-shared have these little green notepad uh, icon. And the shared notebooks have this little blue one looks like like two people in or something so this one is a, a shared notebook I have uh, I'm still not I'm still trying to figure out how to use it best uh, this is for my blog um, and I'm trying to figure out a cool way to use it so maybe I'll go over that more in depth once I figure out some cool ways to use it but um but maybe you can be more creative than I can so well, let me show you an example of how to share a notebook um, and I just want to point out that I'm in the uh, uh, Mac 2.0 beta uh, uh, version of, of Evernote. So my, uh, my sidebar might look a little bit different than yours if you have a PC or if you have a Mac and you have it upgraded. But um, they changed it up a bit. And then so you can look at your account from just the normal way or you can look at it from the shared, ver uh, shared view. And this is all the notebooks that you share currently. Um, so I'm going to go back here and show you how to share this notebook, this brand new notebook we made. So if I right click, click on share, and this version is obviously still in beta because it doesn't always work when you hit share. So I, uh, I just synced it and it and uh, it worked out. So you might have to sync first if you create a new notebook, just to let you know. 
Um, so there, here you can see all my notebooks here, and I can uh, share any, any of these notebooks, and I can stop sharing the one I already have. So if I click sh uh, Start Sharing, it will take me to this new window where I can either share with the world this notebook, um, or I can share with individuals. So if I click Start with uh, Share with the World, um, it'll give me this little uh, UR, public URL um, uh, that, that people can access this this folder in, uh, or this notebook in. I can write a description, uh, sort it, however I want, and I can uh, submit it to be shared uh, with, with, with anybody. Uh, the other option is to share it with individuals. So in here, I can write in people's uh, email address and it will send them a link to, uh, to, to set that up. Um, uh, the, the bad thing about the shared notebooks, well, the smart thing for Evernote is that they make it so you have to be a premium user to uh, share notebooks and that person who gets a shared notebook can modify it or, and edit it and delete and do anything that you can do. So if you share as a, a non-premium member just being using the free version, they can't edit it. So I can see how that could uh, be very useful if you have, if you have the premium version. So if, I mean, if you want to work on documents with people, if you want to share, just, I mean, it's, there's a lot of things you can really do that's, that's really cool. Um, especially if you're a heavy Evernote user. I mean, there's other things that you can use to share documents like Google Docs and Dropbox. But if you, uh, if you have a team that really likes to use Evernote, this is, this is a, a really great way to, to share and, and collaborate on documents, um, in my opinion, anyway. And so you can hit these ad additional features, and you can send the message, and then you can just click Invite there. So real simple here. So I'm going to go back to the main uh, account menu. Um, one last thing that the, uh, the guys at Evernote added was the Evernote Stacks. So it's basically a way to organize your notebooks into folders. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if I click on my new notebook and click, uh, let's see, add to stack and make a new stack, basically uh, it, it creates this super folder and with my new folder or new notebook underneath it. So I can name this whatever I want, and this is a, a, a new notebook. And then I have uh, my, my other notebook uh, beneath it. So if I call this, uh, you know, let's see, if, I, if I'm into cooking, I could say this is just cooking. And if I rename this, this could be just like all, all the recipes that I want to I wanna collect. And I can... Uh, so if I click new notebook, and if I name this um, like cooking techniques or something like that, and it'll just keep on adding it, and it'll make this list underneath my uh, super folder. So um, I, like I said, I haven't really used this feature too much because I organize my notes uh, more with tags than the notebooks. I, I think it's just a lot easier to move around in notes. When I just use tags, I can just click on the tag and I don't have to switch between uh, between notebooks too much. But um, this might be a good way for you guys to, uh, to organize your Evernote is by using uh, notebook stacks. I'm sure this will come out uh, pretty soon, if not already, I'm, I'm sure. So that is the, the this is our third tutorial series. Um, next up, we're gonna be talking about tags and uh, tags are, are extremely useful for organizing your, your, your notes in, note, in, in Evernote and is the main way I use, uh, I, I keep my stuff organized. Um, so yeah, check back for that one and thanks for checking this out.